TheCubeGuys.com presents Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Vinny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Relief Windows, Visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience. And by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to this week's edition of Paradise, Louisiana. I'm Gary Rosponi. We're getting ready to say goodbye to 2020, and man, good riddance. But I'm going to tell you what, there's still some great things that happened in 2020. Hello, 2021. We're asking God's blessing. You notice I still got my mask on. We're still in trouble. I'm going to take it off so I, <laughs> I'm hard to understand without a mask. I'm going to have a chance to, to talk to y'all. But... I, I'm dedicating this show, and I'm going to tell you what, to my two, I don't want to call them former because they're still working, Don Dubuque and Joe Macaluso. That's how I got this hat. That's Joe Macaluso's trademark, so I'm going to wear it today. I, I just got through reading all his, his Sunday article. He's still at it. He's still the best I know. Same thing with Don. I've been still watching everything Don does uh, on, on TV in New Orleans. Baton Rouge and Bayou Wild. So I'm just so proud that at one time I recognized their talent and they were so grateful enough to teach me and help me. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. We're back at the pie. Stay tuned. Why choose barbecue guys? Because this is barbecue guys. Not only do we have the largest online selection of grills and outdoor furniture, top-notch customer service, affordable financing, and 3D design services to help you tie it all together, but we also know what it is you love most about outdoor living. Time spent with family and friends. Combined with our expert advice, you'll have everything you need to design your dream outdoor life. Stop by our showroom today. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract a driver. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. smaller trout using the uh, matrix X shad today we're gonna beef it up a little we caught some monstrous trout yesterday fantastic day me my wife and uh, Jordan and we're gonna beef it up to the mega matrix I'm even gonna paint that tail pink and go over how the spike it pin works got the big uh, mega matrix midnight mullet so we're gonna try to catch some big trout today under some brisk, cold conditions. Guys, here's our setup today. We're gonna to be using the Mega Matrix and the Midnight Mullet color. Now, on the Mega, you wanna use a 4 aught 
hook. So we're gonna use these lock-in screw jig heads from H&H and &H a 3 8 ounce. And these things are really cool and I'm gonna show you why. You don't go through many lures at all with this. You pretty much are only gonna lose a setup if you get snagged. So you just come through just like the regular matrix, hook out the flat part on the top, tail down, and you're gonna screw it on, you're gonna thread it onto that screw. That makes it to where fish it and pulling that off. This thing's really, I mean, you could catch a lot of fish on one lure. Then we're gonna go ahead and use our spike it pins here. Any color works, we're using the pink. At first, we're just gonna paint the tail. And we're just gonna give it a little pizzazz today. Show you all of the things you can do with these spike it pins. You can basically customize your lures. You can even color them on the back if you want. Make it a two-tone bait, pink on the top, midnight mullet on the belly. But also these um, these spike it pins, they also have a garlic scent and they have some with shrimp scents, but we got the garlic scent right here. That certainly can't hurt and again let's go over the knot we like to use as i just broke off so i figured i'd go over all of this you're just gonna take the end of your line fold it over pinch it tight you're gonna push the folded over piece through the eyelet there and you're just gonna tie your regular overhand knot and all you do is you take that access loop Pull the bait through, loop, swoop, and pull. I don't recommend biting it like I do. Clip off that tag line and you're ready to rock and roll. Let's see what we can do here. It's another nice chunk. So last week, when we shot at Dockside TV, these fish were running they were averaging more of that 13 to 16 range, and now we're on a class of fish. As it gets colder, this is natural. Now they're more of that 16 to 22 inch class. And that's why we're beefing it up to the mega. Look how we choke that down in there. That's what you want them to be doing. That means you're using a good color. That means you're using something that they want. And we're just trying to yield bigger fish with these bigger baits. That's a good start. That's what we're talking about. That log. Now trout are notorious for, as the water temperatures get colder, they usually like to look for bigger baits. Feed a little bit less but fit, feed on larger baits. That's pretty uh, common strategy, you know, as we get into the winter is fish bigger baits. And that's why we're trying that mega matrix today. It's working out. where the fish are gonna be each day. That's kind of the tricky part because they like this entire bridge. There's no real secret spots on here. They could be from the north end all the way to the south end and anywhere in between. Now typically what we like to do is fish the northern uh, region section of the bridge on a north wind and the southern section of the bridge on a south wind. That's obviously gonna keep waves down as you can use the land here protection, typically that's going to keep the water cleaner as it's not getting a beating. And uh, that's what we're doing today. That's why we're dressed up so warm. It's pretty chilly this morning, pretty chilly start. And anytime you have uh, cold mornings, that means you're going to have north winds. North, north air brings that cold um, temperatures up from the 
the northern parts of the country. And that's where we're starting today on the northern half of the bridge and catching some pretty nice fish. But again, like I had stated before, the last episode we were fishing the east side, which is the Highway 11 bridge side of the bridge. And today we're on the west side, which is the Causeway or Mandeville uh, side of the bridge. And that's because we got a light incoming tide and I like to fish the down current side. Now, I really wish the tide would start falling. That's how we did really good yesterday. We came out here a little bit later, had a really nice falling tide and we were just catching some logs one after the other. It was a really epic day. Now the size of the fish today are very nice, very similar. Just the bite's a little bit slower but hopefully it picks up as the water temperatures rise a little as it's a pretty chilly start. Let's see if we can get one. Right here. It takes about eight to nine seconds for the bait to hit the bottom. And you don't want to do anything until the bait hits the bottom. And we use that high vis matrix line, that way you can see it real good. It'll help tell you when the lure hits the bottom. And after each series of uh, uh, pops, make sure you let that bait settle back down to the bottom before you begin your retrieve again. That's the secret to like Poncha Train jigging is letting the bluer settle back down to the bottom after each series of pops. Just like that. And that is a good fish right there. That fish was well off the bridge. It might be a little tight. I might need to back off a little bit. This is a really good fish here. Look at this one, guys. Oh, lost him at the boat. That was a solid three and a half pounder, but it's okay. We're gonna catch more. Let me get back to it. And that was that one hurt, but we're gonna get another one. Punch a train lunker. Now what we're noticing now is the fish are really far off the bridge. So I'm backing the boat off. I'm fishing it about 10 yards further than I normally would. And I'm bringing that bait all the way back to the boat. Look at him choking that mega matrix down. These are some fine, fine fish. That's one of the tricky parts. When you don't have a real hard tide, this fish can really get anywhere, whether it could be tight or off the bridge or hard to locate, but that's why you gotta make a lot of different casts, a lot of different presentations, and find that pattern. Look how clean that water is. That's the color water you wanna be seeing an opportunity to catch some mules like this. So, as you can see here, you can see the Highway 11 bridge. Can you see it in the camera? It's now on our side, on our backside. So what that means is we went back under the bridge. Tide started falling. I mean, just barely started trickling. Still using that mega matrix, still catching big trout. That's what I like to do is slip on one side of the bridge if it's coming in, slip on the other side of the bridge if it's falling. That really makes a difference. Another good one, baby what the fish like in the fall time. You know, we were catching a handful this morning on that light incoming, but now that we've switched to the east side, that tide's starting to fall, that bite's really picking up. It's really good. So what happens is, in the fall, I just really favor a falling tide, especially this year. We've had so much um, east winds, really push so much bait into this lake. It's just been incredible with hurricane after hurricane after hurricane. So when you get a falling tide, as we're on the eastern end of the lake, where it chokes down, this is like a natural choke point. So all of the shrimp, crustaceans, pogies, fin fish come from the back end of the lake on that falling tide. These bridges are just an optimal 
ambush point on a fallen tide. That's when they really can uh, turn on. There we go, baby. That is where the prolific term, nickname, yellow mouth comes from. Speckled trout, these big sows, which I'd call a sow, uh, anything 20 inches or better, that's a good one. They're notorious for when they get a bait lodged in their mouth, they come up, head up, they, they all, almost always do it, and they just shake that head and they're trying to get that lure out of their mouth. Look at the size of these fish. I love it this time of year. It doesn't get any better than that. And this is the, this is the time of year where you can really have some great success throwing bigger baits, like the Mega Matrix here. Tide's starting to fall, these big girls starting to bite. That is a good sign when a 15 inch trout is the run of the litter. I like it when that's going on. This is a trout, he's a good one. Oh, I got him fouled up again. Look how clean that water is, guys. I mean, is that just not beautiful? Beautiful. Come on in here, little guy. Oh, so. Last week, we talked about what made me stop on the bridge was a whole bunch of seagulls, pelicans, little terns sitting on the bridge, which was very odd. You don't really see that too often, but going down the bridge, didn't see much, and then a whole wad of birds are sitting on the bridge and in the water. It's a telltale sign. You gotta stop there and try it. Boom, that's where the fish were. Now it's a little bit colder, and we got something down here called a, a winter bird of ours. It's called a loon. We've been over this many Dockside TV episodes when we're wintertime fishing, late fall fishing, early spring also. We look for those loons and they are a telltale sign on big trout. So when you see them loons, you see big trout like this right here. When you're catching big trout, I'd, I'd advise you to beef it up a little bit to the four inch, give you a little bit better chance to catch a real wall hanger. Yeah, buddy, buddy, buddy. Well, trestle trout at its finest. Just about every fish we caught today was a, out of a cookie cutter mold. Every fish just about was off that mega matrix in the midnight mullet color. I mean, these are chunks. For sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. Pod's moving in storage. I need to clean out my study. We'll deliver a container. My brother-in-law's moving in. Maybe he'll help you pack. He's lazy. We can refer some professionals. It's just until he finds work. We can keep things at our storage center for as long as it takes. I am not happy about this. Or you can keep your things on site for quick unloading. Did you say freeloading? I said unloading. I heard freeloading. I'm sure you did. Store on site or let us drive your things to our secure storage center. Pods, moving in storage, solved. gonna make this a short deal this is a photo week so I, I got some photos and then uh some of them i'm gonna be able to add but i got i got a couple more deer photos and uh, i got it right here I, i'm talking with the first pictures i got i got bobby sheets one of the oldest sackle fishermen bass fishermen i've been knowing for years 
uh, they sending me a picture of these sack of they're catching in the spillway. I think he's fishing. I think his friend told me they're fishing around the old river area in them dead end canals. Gary, Gary Krause went and caught some sack of lay and looking for bass and sack of lay, and he, he found them not far from muddy water in the dead end canals and pigeon. Also, uh, Will Hawkins out there, 11 year old, sent me some pictures. Uh, the sack of lay, he was coming from the Lake Verret area. And look at he got one of them real big ones. I, I got some pictures of Brandon Hill. Uh, with an eight point, that's the grandson of Leonard Dodd in, in East Feliciana Parish. Charlie Paraka, last week I was sent, getting pictures from Major with a big 10 point. Charlie's doing the same thing. Them boys, that's the grandsons of Ken Lambert. They are, <laughs> they are deer slayers, they are fishermen. You name it, they do it. And plus, they're an athlete. They're getting more time out now because of this. this Covet, you know, he's no no longer been able to wrestle or do the school activities, so they're using all this activity time up in the woods and the water. Congratulations. Uh, my son Vince, busy as he is, he snuck away by himself this past weekend. He killed a six point at East Feliciana, in his, his lease on East Feliciana. So uh, I just thought I'd stick my son in. He, he, he was a little proud. Ain't but a six point, but he was proud of it. Uh, I, I'm going to go right now and I'm going to tell you about the, uh, the sort of a hunting report. All right, all the captains that I know of, and I'm talking about the guides and everybody in ducks right now, got openings. I showed you all last week. I'm going to go through them real quick. Kobe Daniels, Top Gun, Blake Swallow, is Strap and Stringer, Ryan Lambert, the Cajun Fishing Adventures, and uh, Tommy Corley at Waterfowl Specialist, that's the ones that send me stuff. I I'm sure there's other blasting casts down in there in the Do Delacroix area and some of those areas. Uh, all the captains, <laughs> and I'm saying all of them, all the captains. In the last few weeks, I didn't get no pictures, I guess, with Christmas. You know, I got a few of them from down there. But every time they send me a picture from Milan Marina, you may go back and look. That table is full. The guys that chase bass and redfish, they full. The guys that catching uh, or chasing trout and sheep head, they full. They full the table up. So, uh, man, it's a good time. But don't forget Mike Gallo down there, one of the best ever. Uh, with, with all these corporate people not being able to come and bring their people, uh, they should because that's the safest trip you can do right now. Whether if you want to get in the outdoors, to get out on the water, get out in the woods by yourself, or even go with a captain. I promise you those captains, they want, they want to live, and they practice and safe practices. So that's the report. When I come back, I got a short fishing report, and I'm going to give one more salute. Joe McAloose and Don Dubuque. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny?
Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. Outfish's original power bait by 45%, disperses a supercharged scent field that attracts more fish and triggers more strikes. Powerbait Max Set. Fish bite and won't let go. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. It's wishful thinking. You know, we got the vaccines out and we got things are getting better, but in some areas are getting worse. I'm gonna put this away. This is my wish. This is my wish for 2021 right now. First off, is, is let's get over this pandemic. Lord, please help us, bless us all over the world. Everybody, all the people in the outdoors take better care and be more conservative. Be conservationists, what I'm trying to say, of what we got here. Especially in Louisiana, we've been blessed. Uh, we don't have to fight the oil companies right now. All we gotta do is recruit them. You know, we don't have to fight uh, about nets in the water. All we gotta do is agree on what's best for the source. If you read Joe Macaluso, Every week, he talks about things. Common sense. They have, him and Don have so much credibility. They are so honest, so many family people. They've been in it so long that I feel blessed every day that they spent years doing, being on Paradise, Louisiana. Still contribute. Behind the scenes, they still contribute. Thank you. They got some other shows there. That John Jackson was so talented. C.T. Williams, all good friends, and uh, Chef K.D., who worked with me for years, okay? Off and on, Chef K.D. has been in the business. Hey, I want to thank y'all. Wish y'all a happy new year. I hope y'all all prosperous this year. <laughs> Don't forget to pray. Thank God. And I, I'm so grateful to Chris Lacott and even the, the past guys that worked with me, Dirk Grazier, Frank Hilliard. Jordan, Jordan's calling me from Nashville right now. I, I, I just can't tell you how much I appreciate and love y'all. In Jesus' name, God bless Louisiana. Happy New Year. BBQGuys.com presents Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Louisiana Fish Fry Products. Demco. CCA Louisiana. And the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. And by Farm Bureau Insurance.